here's another fencing problem. Uh, this one's going to have some money involved with it, so it's not just the lengths. Uh, a company wants to put their fence, a rectangular fence around their property, and they're going to uh, fence it differently. Across the front, they're just going to use chain link, which is $18 a foot. And then around the other three sides, they're going to use a wooden fence, $35 a foot. And they've got $6,000 that they uh, will be able to spend on the project. So we want to know what size can they fence in in order to maximize the area while staying under budget. So first, let's draw a picture. Okay, we've got a rectangular area. Okay, We'll call these two sides L, the length. We'll call these two sides W for the width. And it really doesn't matter which one is which, so let's make this the front side. So that's going to be $18 per foot. So it's going to be $18 for each foot of width. And the other three are all going to be 35s. Now we know we're going to be restrained by the $6,000 that we have to spend. So let's write that equation over here. 6000 and that's going to come from these two sides. So 18W plus 35W. So that gives us 53W plus these two sides, 35L and another 35L. That's 70L. Okay. So what we want to do now is we need to solve this either for W or L. So let's solve it for the L. We could do either one. So, and I'm going to swap this around. So I'll put, subtract the 53W over there. So that'll be 6,000 minus 53W. And I'll just swap that and move it over to the right and put the 70L on the left-hand side. And then now we're going to divide everything by 70. So L is going to be 6,000 over 70 minus 5w over 70. I'm sorry, that should be 53w. Okay, sorry about that. And now we're going to simplify, okay, because we're just estimating it. Probably real world numbers aren't always nice, so let's get a decimal. Okay, if we do 6,000 divided by 70, that comes out about 85.7 minus, and then 53 over 70 is about 0 0.76 W. Okay, so what well, remember we want to maximize the area, so we need our area formula. Area equals length times width. But now, so we only have two variables. Instead of L, we're going to put all this in place of the L. So we're going to have 85.7 minus 0.76 W times W. Okay. And if we work this out, we're going to have our area equation being negative 0.76 W times W. So negative 0.76 W squared plus 85.7 times the W. 85.7 W. So this is our area equation. We want to maximize the area, so we need to find the critical point. So we're going to take the derivative. So 2 times negative 0.76. That's negative 1.52 W. And then here, linear term, we just dropped the variable. So we're left with 85.7. Make this equal to zero. And solve it for the W. We'll move the 1.52 W to the left. It becomes a positive equals 85.7. And now if we divide by 1.52, this gives us a value of W of about 56.4 feet. Okay. 
So that tells us that these two sides are going to be 56.4. All right, what about the other two sides? Well, remember, we've got a formula for L. Okay, L is 85.7 minus 0.76 times W. Well, now we know that W is 56.4. So this gives us our length is 85.7 minus 0.76 times 56.4. And if we calculate that out, we end up with a length of right at about 43 feet. So to maximize the area and stay within budget, they need to go 56.4 feet across and 43 feet down the sides.